What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Derailed Gaming. This is part seven of my walkthrough of Miraculous, The Rise of the Sphinx. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in and uh, subscribing, clicking the bell when you do so, so you get notifica notifications rather every time I put out a video or go live on Monday and Friday nights with live interactive gaming where you tell me what to do. Also, thank you for hitting the like button, commenting down below, as well as sharing this around to your friends, family, and even your enemies. That way, everyone knows where to find Derailed Gaming. Now, we've got to get to Master Fu now and uh, get guidance, as in the last episode, we got a little bit more of the backstory to Gabriel and Natalie, and this might not have been the right way, or maybe it is, and we just need to go to this side. Um, but yeah, so we got a little more of their backstory after we defeated Myura, who had control of the caterpillar. We also, what is, okay. It gets us over here, should get us pretty close. Yeah, I think we're pretty close now. So, um, so anyways, yeah, so we defeated the, uh, caterpillar slash Myura and with, uh, with that, Myura had to control the caterpillar over to Hawk Moth. So I have a sneaking suspicion that this might be our final episode. But let's find out by talking to Master Fu. Marinette, it is a relief to see that you are safe. I just heard the terrible news. This is terrible. Actually, I was visiting you thinking you could help me. It's as if there's nothing we can do against this Senta monster. There's always a way, Marinette. Don't lose hope, even though everyone in Paris seems to have lost it. Myura said it would soon evolve into something absolutely unstoppable. What can we expect? Hmm. We could benefit from learning more about this new enemy. I saw on TV that the Senna monster laid eggs during its molting process. I need you to go out there and bring back three larvae. By studying their behavior, it might give us an insight into what they're made of. Sure thing, Master. Okay, so we gotta find baby caterpillars. As Marinette just stands there. The clock is ticking, Tiki. Let's retrieve three baby caterpillars and bring them back to Master Fu as soon as possible. Once he's done studying them, it may give us a clue as to how to beat the Senna Monster. All right. I don't know what the point that was. We already knew that. Oh, there's one right there. One. Okay, two more. <laughs> yep, that's how that works, Marinette. <laughs> the the cutscenes are unnecessary. Two. Okay, one more. <laughs> oh, that's great. Three, no more. Three. That makes three of them. <laughs> what? <laughs> Am I the only one that finds that absolutely hilarious? Oh, bringing them back. A while later. Excellent, Marinette. I'm done running tests on the three baby caterpillars you brought me earlier. It appears they feed on human emotional states. And sadly... There's only one type of food they seem to par be partial to. Negative emotions. You mean they feed on bad vibes? Like a cat on tuna, the baby caterpillar I exposed to sad words literally doubled in size, while the others seemed impervious to positive ones. Which makes me really concerned about how Myura's caterpillar is going to evolve. I can't be sure... But when you face off with that Senta monster, it would be wise to steer clear of gloomy thoughts. The Senta monster may convey doubt and confusion into your heart, and you may find yourself unable to judge things clearly. If it should happen, you must hold on to something that truly makes you happy. A memory, a thought, an image, anything. Adrian. <laughs> I'm rooting for you, Marinette. I'm confident your good heart and Cat Noir's good will can give us the upper hand in this battle. Yeah, it looks like things are about to go down. If that's a battle Myura wants, we ought to bring it to them. 
That's the spirit, Marinette. Let me know if you want me to work on your power-ups. Uh, yeah, we probably better. Pick whatever you need. Heroes! Um, we got 613. I think, yeah, we can afford this. So, max out Marinette's health. Base damage one for her. Base damage one for Cat Noir. And we can't spend it on anything else at all. So that's going to do that. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, we can't do anything with this stuff either. It's going to be yep, too much. Pick whatever you need. All right. And I did notice in the top right corner before I selected that, it said something about Master Fu and Final Battle. So I believe this is it. So here we are, man. It, only seven episodes, I guess, what this is going to be. Thought maybe we'd get a little more out of the game, but, uh, you know. It is what it is. They wrote the story. They made the game. Hi, Marinette. All right. Talk to Master Fu to engage in the final battle. Okay, so do I just talk to him? Wait. This is it, Marinette. This may be your last fight. Are you sure you are ready? I'm ready. I am ready. Let's finish this once and for all. That's the spirit, Marinette. I'm rooting for you. All right. Tiki, spots on. Here we go. Do we get thrust right into battle, or do we have to go through another maze of sorts collecting orbs and macaroons? Let's see. Uh -oh. Huh? The scented monster. It's here. Whoa! How come it's that big anyway? Feeding on Parisians' despair was just the appetizer. Chloe was the main course. And what are we? Desserts? What do we do now? Just stick to the plan. What plan? There's a plan? Run. Run? That's the plan? I don't know how that's a plan that's going to work. I guess we'll see what Marinette, or uh, Ladybug rather, has in store for us. She always seems to have a plan. But I don't know how running is going to help us here. It is the, the caterpillar. We didn't get any intel that the caterpillar gets weak when it runs. I mean, if we stay happy, how does that uh, outweigh the rest of Paris and all the despair and everything? Chloe's negative thoughts. Even Hawkmoth's to a degree, although he's probably happy and, you know, looking forward to what's coming now, but. I don't know. I guess here we go. We'll find out. Oh, the Caterpillar's Trail. Okay, there's a macaroon. I guess we're still collecting this stuff. Oh, we're totally collecting this stuff because it's one of a hundred, so. But it looks like our main area has been taken over. Like These are areas we typically run through. I think this actually... Oh, maybe it's not. <coughs> Excuse me, but still. Let's, uh, kind of looking around to see if there's any more orbs or macaroons. I guess there's no reason to pull our punches anymore. Got him. Bap. To you now. And to you. And boom. Well, that didn't work out like I wanted, but... Ladybug. Score one or Those three for like Ladybug. creatures don't bode well. Right, so we got plenty of orbs over here. Collect the orbs. Even walking on the silk. I think I saw more over here. Do they go all the way over here? They do. Grab that one. Grab that one. Oh. Got the macaroon. 
that one, grab that one, and we'll work our way down, or potentially even up, it looks like. There's more here. Okay. Let's jump up. Jump, jump. And land on that, barely. Jump, jump. Get that. Jump, it's jump. It's a good thing Mayor Bourgeois put the city in lockdown. At least no one will get hurt. Where am I? Oh. Well, hopefully. Hopefully lockdown keeps people from getting hurt. Because, I mean, the bad guys can still get into their houses, so... Uh -huh. I guess it's better than out driving around right in the middle of all this. Grab these two here. Wow, that was 15. 15 on this side too? No, but there's a macaroon in between the legs of this statue. Alright, another macaroon. I don't know, I guess let me know in the comments if you want me to do an episode where we, uh, between trying to get more macaroons and looking at some of those things that we can earn from them. Let me know down in the comments if that's what you guys want. So we can do another one if you want to see what some of the, uh, the prizes for getting the macaroons are. Oh, that froze me up. No sweat! If I get enough, uh, you know, comments, or at least a few, a couple of you saying that you want it, we'll do it. Caterpillar dragged half of the city with it in its climb. Yeah, no kidding. That means there's probably a bunch of orbs and macaroons up here for us. Jump, jump. Get that one. That's going to be hard to find all these. They're everywhere. Brought a whole house with it. Jeez, please. I got this. Do you? Wow, oh, come on. Coming to you. You're an honorary one, so we're gonna take care of you. That about wraps it up. Does it though? Because it seems like we've still got a long ways to go. We only have 11 macaroons. And the orbs, that's we just crossed the 100. For the evening surprises. Yeah, think it. You really think that's it? Considering you've still got to fight a boss. <laughs> oh, Cat Noir can do something here. Let's see what it is. What does that do? I can't see anything. Floating car. Jump, jump. Jump, jump. Which gets me over the car. All this for a macaroon. Let me try one more time. Jump, jump. Land on... Oh, come on not even worth it for a single macaroon. <laughs> I almost landed on it like that. Actually, it looks like it might take us something else. Let's try one more time here. Oh, we're on it. Okay. Jump, jump. No! Oh! Whatever. I am just not that interested at this point at doing that. These things are so spread out, all these orbs and macaroons. It would take forever. I'm just doing quick scans of the area here. Bring it on! Boom! Oh, wow. Wow, 
can I like get out of there? Please. Dang. That's all you got. They were uh, getting the best of me there for a minute. Thank goodness there wasn't more to it than that. Like more that popped for up. This. These enemies can take any blow. You have to find a way to stun them. Oh, well then is that like that? And yeah. that's a wrap. You jump over them. Okay, well that's good to know. Especially if more of them are gonna pop up at some point. Oh. Nice hiding spot for that. It's like an Easter egg hunt in a video game with some fighting on the side. <laughs> I just that just dawned on me. That's pr pretty much what this is. It's a giant Easter egg hunt. Jump, jump. Easter egg hunt, the video game. The adventures of Ladybug and Cat Noir on Easter Sunday. And their battles with the caterpillar. The rise of the Sphinx Easter egg hunt. Alright, game's kind of getting a little laggy on us. And this game has nothing to do with the internet either. It has nothing Are to do with the internet. still in Paris? This or in a giant game. silk cocoon? Down to you and me. And the other five that are here. Back, forth, back, forth. That's boom. all you got. It might be. They could always drop like ten of them on us. Although with some of the lag in this game, I don't know if it'd be able to handle it. This has your name on it. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. Get off, get off, get off. Good grief. That takes care of that. Holy moly. Good grief. Anything else around here? Not likely. Oh. Oh, we're going up the Eiffel Tower, of course. Oh, no. It started its morphing phase. Let's get up there. Hopefully, we can do something before it hatches. Every major storyline in this game has to do with the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> That's great. I guess there's no reason to pull our punches anymore. I don't even know why that's a phrase or so many. Get away! Alright, Cat Noir. Let's get in here. Come on. Come on! Come on. Boom, boom. I'm just too good at this. Alright, so we need to go up the Eiffel Tower. So before I do that, then, I'm going to do these things that had Cat Noir and Ladybug labeled to them. Uh, where's the Cat Noir one at? Or was there one? Maybe it's just two Ladybug ones. Where is that a Ladybug one there? Is that... Oh, yeah, they both are Ladybugs. Okay. So let's start with this one. We saw it first. Uh... Okay, was I supposed to jump or something there? It doesn't do anything. <laughs> Does this one do anything? Oh, I get it. Bring this over, then you do this. I was like, wait a minute. I thought maybe the game was glitching out. Jump, jump. Got it. Jump, jump. Let's try that again. Up and jump, jump. Got that. Oh, okay. That's a cat noir thing. 
give him credit on this. It's causing you to do multiple things with both characters. So at least they thought this through a little bit and was like, well, you know, before you go up the Eiffel Tower, let's give you one little quick thing left to do. Or not so quick thing, but... Ah. Oh, come on now. Let's go ahead and hit this. It's a Cat Noir thing. Maybe that makes these jumps a little easier. We shall see. Let's go up here. Um, yeah. Jump, jump to this one. And there was something over here, too. Oh, yeah. Alright, now let's uh, scale the Eiffel Tower. What appears to be the Eiffel Tower. This is really weird. Oh, uh, uh, oh my gosh. And if I fall, I mean, is that, what does that happen? Make him stun, and then get this one. Maybe. Get him, get him, get him. That about wraps it up. Da -da -da -da. All right. More orbs. Lose it or lose it. And if I can face you, I'll get you. No sweat. Following the arrow around. And of course, what would a bad guy be without... Well, now we know what happens when we fall. What would a bad guy be without an easy way to get up to them? Or at least a way. I wouldn't call it easy. Okay, now we're up on this ledge, if you will. We'll check both sides and make sure there's nothing else going on here. And we're forced to come down and face another fight. All day. Can you? Well, there's six of them this time, at least. Move it, move it, move it. All right, moving, moving. Oh, she's the healer. Let's get her out of here. Oh, I didn't move in time. Map, 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 map. That about wraps it up. Okay, get that orb. And now here. And yeah, that turned in a weird way. I bet you I have to get up here without falling off of the top of the Eiffel Tower. Oh, come on, ladybug. Up, up. There we go. Anything over here? Maybe. Oh, we can go all the way around. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, camera, camera, whoa! Can we uh, talk this out for a second? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my lord. Again, I, I can't control the camera. <laughs> so I'm at its mercy here. Up, up. Working our way around over all this. Oh. Um, can we go up? We can't go up this way. But we were able to find that. And now we got to get back over there. Let's grab this while we're here. Maybe we can walk around this way or something or jump up to something. Considering I can't see anything. Jump, jump. All right, we'll head back up the way we were just at. And we gotta make a timed jump onto this floating car deal. With 
all the trash and stuff on it. And I messed that up pretty bad. Jump, jump. Land on that. Jump, jump. Jump, jump. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Alright, just drop off and hopefully we're up here. No, we're not. Oh my gosh, this is annoying. Up, up. Oh my lord. Now I'm starting to get a little frustrated. And again, it would really help if the camera would point the direction I want it to so I know what I'm doing. Jump, jump. Jump. Why is she only jumping once? She's supposed to double jump. Jump, jump. All right, I'm going to let it go and come back. That way I can get my footing better. Jump, jump. Unreal. Okay, we got stoplights that are telling us to go and stop, I guess. Jump. Oh, I didn't even see the macaroon there. Oh, brother. Why am I missing that? Okay. Jump, jump. Wait, two jumps, Marinette. Jump, jump. Onto it. What is going on here? Okay. There we go. Jump. Oh my gosh, jump twice, Marinette! Alright, I'm gonna just take my time here. You've woven a silk staircase just for us, little scented monster? Yes. Yeah, you shouldn't you. have. Aww. So I cute. guess there's no reason to pull our punches anymore. Him. Okay, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. And somehow I still get it. That's great. Yeah, there we go. Got him. Couple of macaroons just laying around here. Going to grab those. Alright, I'm going to let that come back because I don't want what was happening earlier to happen again measure this out jump jump and we're on it jump on it jump jump on the it. monster feeds on bad vibes well I'm not having any well the only actually I am having some bad vibes <laughs> because these jumps are annoying me so maybe like it's dance? my bad vibes Now I can just one for beat you up. Okay, we must be missing a lot of macaroons, is all I can imagine. Or it's a long climb up the Eiffel Tower, which in reality it is. And falling off the ledge doesn't help either. I'll head this way. Grab that. So this thing is just pulling itself out and bringing itself back in. That was goofy, but it worked. Anything else out this direction? Should I go into the boat? Is there anything in the boat? Aw, oh, there should be. That's no fun. Oh, hey, yeah, there you go, Marinette. Just do that. That works too. Moving right along. And get that orb there. Jump, jump. Go! Yeah, that didn't work out too well, did it? Jump, jump. Yeah, I saw an orb over here. Let's grab that. We are up to 45 macaroons. I would venture to so guess we're more than half. Now it's in its cocoon phase. What's going to happen? Can't know for sure. 
Well, the next step is... It will hatch, supposedly. Not even worried about the fact that I missed that. Jump, jump. Oh, this is, uh, this is something. Something else, I'll tell you that. Jump, jump. All right. Okay, I can't see. Why is this even a thing? Game mechanics, people. Game mechanics. All right, let's fight, bro. I guess there's no reason to pull our punches anymore. Come on, come on, come on. Don't get stuck in this. That Got about it. wraps it up. Does it? I still don't feel like we're close to wrapping up, Marinette. I'm not getting that close to wrapping up vibe yet. Ooh. Oh, oh! No, 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 no. Don't make me... Where am I now? Am I all the way back here? No, I'm not. Jump, jump. What? Did this just take me... Don't go backwards, please. Okay, these are going up and down. So we just gotta time this right. Jump, jump. Oh, 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 easy. There we go. Hang over here. Grab these. Grab this, maybe. Cat Noir can do this one. Maybe. And smack. What does that do? What does that reveal? Oh. This is uh, something. Is it worth it, Marinette? Is it really worth it? A cat noir stuff here, it looks like maybe. Push, 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 push. You got something for Marinette here. Ladybug. It's a ladybug thing there, too. Okay, pulling that over. Let's go ahead. Oh, but that's cat noir. So we'll go ahead and do whatever else Marinette needs to do here. Cat Noir one. Looks like we've created a staircase. Jump, boom, jump, 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 jump. And ten macaroons. And now we can head all the way back to where we were and have this fight with these guys you here. Are there. A lot of them. One that. Ugh! Come on! Uh, oh, how did he hit me? He was done punching! Come on! Up to 60 macaroons. Oh, this is. Uh, how do I not fall when I'm going weird angles? that get missed. That was too easy. Okay. We must be getting close because the circle is getting smaller and smaller. Let's go, bro. Let's go. I got this. I can't see. I'm just too good at this. How are you? I go up this thing at all? Doesn't look like it's recommended, and wow. 
What a fall there. I can't see. Why doesn't it... Uh, I gotta stop complaining about that, but it's just so enraging. That it's even... We made it difficult. to the top! Did we? I guess we did. Alright. Are we at the top in the final... The final final? Don't tell me that's what I think it is! Hurry! Oh, it's got to it. the top! Yuck. No sign of the Sentinel monster. And no sign of Chloe either. This can't be good. Greetings. Uh -oh. I should praise you for your sense of dramatic timing. Fuck what? Behold the Sphinx! The oh, fates of boy. your demise, Ladybug and Cat Noir. Now do you understand why I wouldn't have missed this for the world? Spare us your theatrics, Hawk Moth. Just tell us where Chloe is. Chloe is safe. How heroic of you to worry about her in spite of everything she's done to you. Heroic, but pointless. You used her like a pawn. And for what? To come up with another Senta monster? You know we'll beat it like we always do. There seems to be something of a misunderstanding. The Sphinx was not meant for you. It was meant for the people of Paris. See? Soon it will fly over the city and spread its toxic powder, imprisoning every single Parisian into a stasis of despair and sorrow forever. Mm -hmm. No! These people did nothing to you! Actually, there is a way you can avert this crisis, Ladybug and Cat Noir. Oh, I wonder what that and is. That is by handing over your miraculous to me. Do you really think that after seeing you take advantage of your power, we'd give up our miraculous? We'd never allow you to harm even more innocent people. <sighs> So be it. He thought it was gonna work. Then my Sphinx will beat the two worthless pawns that you are in one single strike. Checkmate, Ladybug and Cat Noir. See. <laughs> Give up now, Ladybug and Cat Noir. You're no match for the Sphinx. Okay, I'm just gonna dodge for now and try and kind of study the movements here and what it's doing. Okay, they disappeared. So maybe those were opportunities to attack it. Okay, so here comes another swoop. I can't see him. Alright, so now you're gonna drop those eggs again. Oh. Now is the Sphinx trying to get my miraculous? Oh, hey, there we go. Get it, get it, get it, get it, yes! Cataclysm! Cataclysm! He's touching his staff <laughs> with the cataclysm. That should destroy the staff. saw you breathing that powder say something i'm sorry kitty cat but i can't i'm exhausted we're out of our league here what don't give up now milady it's pointless hawk moth is too strong what? fight it out ladybug these are not your real oh. thoughts I get what they're what's doing. the point anyway we always fight on and on we fight endlessly because there's always evil out there that needs to be stopped. And if we don't stop it, who will? I'm not cut out to be a superhero, Cat Noir. The truth is, I just want to be a normal girl. We might as well just give up. No! Oh, so you're gonna let that kind of stuff happen? Don't move. You're right, Ladybug. 
What's the point of it all? There's been too much fighting. And too many people have suffered because of this conflict. You have the opportunity to make it stop, Ladybug. Everything could end tonight. Now, give me your miraculous. Let me take that burden off of you. See that, Ladybug? There are thousands in the streets marching toward the Eiffel Tower to support you. Everyone in this town believes in you. Really they cool haven't given up on you. And I haven't given up on you. It doesn't matter. I'm afraid Ladybug's already made up her mind. Am I right? Come on, Ladybug! Don't let us down! We all need you! <laughs> Let's wrap this up, Cat Noir. You know the drill. That's just weird. I've never yeah! seen Ladybug like that. That's weird. But so be it. Whatever they want to do for this, this game. Oh, get Hawk Moth! Yes! Yes! Beat Hawk Moth! Give me your miraculous! Sunglasses at night? Mm. Corey Hart liked it. Cat Noir, do there? you know what no butterfly in the world can resist? Romantic flowers? Yes, but what they like the most is to feast on light. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> Through darkness comes the light. Get Hawk Moss Miraculous <laughs> while you're at it. <laughs> Where are you Darn. going with this? Away again. Gone. Come on, Ladybug. Let's end this. There we go. Here's my era's feather. Time to de evilize. Time to de evilize. Miraculous Ladybug! Found it! And one star, of course. <laughs> of course, we, we did kind of skip out on some things that we probably could have collected some more, but... Well, there we go. There's, uh... There's that battle. Let's see if there is anything else to the game here. It looks like that's it. There's the credits. Well, that was uh, that was quite the game there. A little, little disappointing. Obviously, you're not going to defeat Hawk Moth in, at the end of the game. The series is still rolling and everything. So, obviously, the end hasn't happened, and they're not going to bring the series to a conclusion in the video game. But, yeah, we're really close to getting the uh, the Moth Miraculous uh, back from, uh, from Hawk Moth, from uh, Gabriel Gress. But, uh, you know, a couple things I'll say about this game is, and you heard my frustrations throughout at points, where I was like, 
why why is the dialogue so like there was misspellings and you know the wrong words in places and there was also um just the gameplay in general the constant camera movement when i wasn't asking for it when it, you would think that's a pretty common thing at least in the games that i've played where you know the right stick generally can control the camera in games like this you see it in breath of the wild um i mean human fall flat doesn't really do that i'm just thinking of the games that we played here recently but but human fall flat has a different dynamic to it that kind of works for it but you don't have the camera issues that you do here in this game and you also had the um the fighting scenes, they were so basic. It was basically just button mashing. And there, there was a little bit of dodging in this that you had to do, especially in some of the harder fights. And at least those did improve later in the game. But um, like I said earlier in this episode, it feels like just a giant Easter egg hunt. Like we were just collecting orbs and macaroons. And then occasionally we get into a fight and then at the end we'd have a boss fight. And even the one with Gamer, it wasn't even a fight. We, we It was a trivia game, which I, I guess is unique. It's different, so credit to them for trying something different. But I don't know. Get the, the mechanics of the game down before you even release it. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I get it. I, you know, they, they throw these games together really quick. And they probably should uh, take their time a little longer. I'm looking at all these names on this list going, wow. It, but anyone could have played through this game in a few hours and figured out all the things that needed corrected. And it feels like, did, did anyone even play through this game before they released it? And went, oh, look, you uh, have a grammatical error. Or look, the cutscenes, like when they go pounded and it... it just awkwardly ends and the the long load times the long load times in between scenes for what we were getting out of the next screen uh, again I, I keep going back to breath of the wild but breath of the wild you get a load screen that's maybe 10 15 seconds which in some cases was shorter than some of these load screens and you're getting a world map a, a free world to run in and in this, you just got a simplified um, version of Paris, like in the Ladybug universe, the Miraculous Ladybug universe uh, version of Paris. So, you know, I, I think this game really left some things. Uh, it, it could have been better, you know. And a lot of things to me that would be simple. I'm certainly not a game designer or anything, so... What do I know? How how hard is it to, you know, make the load screens go quicker or auto, uh, proofread? I mean, that should be easy, right? Uh, I storyline wise, it was a decent storyline. I think if it would have been like you could have done this in like a two to four parter on. Um, on the regular series or even had a special mini series dedicated to this. And I think they could have done a little more with the storyline instead of, I mean, had they done it in the television series, they could have done a storyline and, you know, obviously Marinette and Adrian and everyone else would have walked through their scenes and everything, as opposed to us guiding Marinette and Adrian through it. Um, but that's the difference in video games and, you know, television shows. But also, uh, let me get that to... So, the um, the story probably would have worked pretty well in the series. The story worked decently, but then, again, like the cutscenes and stuff just kind of took the, the umph out of it because of the awkward cuts and everything. So, overall, if I was... And, and I'm probably going to be generous here just because I'm partial to the series, but I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Um... And that's, uh, you know, the most points probably given to storyline and um, just, uh, you know, giving some points to, again to my partialism of the game and, you know, the comfort of knowing the characters and being able to kind of understand the story going on. Um, 
the uh, you know I, I probably should give give it even a lower score to be really honest, but I'm trying to be nice and say six out of ten. Um, if I wasn't a fan of the series, I'd probably say more of like a three or four out of ten, or I could see people completely just dumping it and going zero or one. For the people that are, you know, lifelong gamers, which, which I, I guess I am a lifelong gamer. I just, uh, you know, I've kind of gone away and came back to it, obviously playing them more now with uh, the channel. But, uh, yeah, I I feel like someone who's been really hardcore gamer would probably poo-poo all over this, if you will. But anyways, um, let me see if we can kind of speed through these a little bit you can still see the names just wanted to be fair and give everyone their due because they deserve it as um you know whether you like the game or not christina v but um did she get married or something is that because i thought she was just christina v unless they're using like i don't know i don't know enough about her but um what does that say voice cast in french oh okay so yeah, and, and they did get, I believe, all the, the same voice actors because all the voices sounded really familiar. But, yeah, I wanted to make sure we at least, whether you like the game or not, people deserve their credit for the efforts they put into it. And just because things maybe weren't proofread doesn't mean that some of the other people who actually put their effort into it didn't do the best job they could. And, you know, whoever the proofreaders are, the people that go back and play through the game, the game testers, uh, those are the people that really, uh, to me, should be you know criticized here because it was all things that could have been corrected with a simple run through of the game. But what do I know? Maybe the game testers did bring that to their attention. They said, you know what, this game's good enough to release. Maybe they were up against deadlines. I don't know. Leave your thoughts down in the comments below, though. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me back out and see if what the loading screen takes us to since we're through the credits. But thank you, guys. Uh, if, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you're notified every time we post another video or when we go live on Monday and Friday nights for live interactive gaming where you tell me what to do. And um, also uh, hit the like button, of course. As I said, leave your comments, your thoughts on the game down below. And, of course, share this out to your friends, family, and obviously your enemies as well. That way, everyone in your life knows where to find derailed gaming. Now, let's see if there's anything after this uh, loading screen here that would uh, give us any more context. It is not. Oh, wait. Actually, one last thing. Talk to Alia. Don't tell me what to do, ladybug. I've had my fill of you. Wait. Where am I? Chloe. You? What do you want? I suppose I owe you the truth. I was the one who arranged the deal you've made with Hawk Moth. Huh? So embarrassing. Well, thanks for nothing. If I were Hawk Moth, you'd be fired. Rest assured, I didn't want for it to go down this way, Chloe. As if being a superhero is so overrated anyway. I don't have time for this. I don't necessarily agree, Chloe. Ladybug treats you as a worthless pawn and fails to see the queen you really are. You shouldn't give up on finding your way. Huh. Maybe. Nah. Ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. One last thing. Talk to all ya. Bye bye little butterfly. I've been saving your scrapbook. That you can find any time Marinette's house. Let's interact with all ya. Girl, did you forget today's Adrian's birthday? Poor Adrian, with everything that's been going on on the school clothes, the lockdown, Hawk Moss attack on Paris, it looks like he's going to spend his birthday alone. You need to do something, Marinette. Well, I have a heart attack now. This is your big chance at saving Adrian's birthday. Um, you're always here to support. What do you suggest I do? Come, Mar Come on, Marinette. Do I have to do everything? Adrian is on his way home right now, alone. From what I know, his father allowed him to walk home from his fencing class. Okay, but what are you getting at? Clue in, girl. Go see him now. He must be devastated that the whole Santa Monster thing had his birthday party canceled. You mean now? Now? 
Now, now? I'll get out of your hair, Marinette. Bye! Oh, yeah, wait! Still says talk to Alia. You know what to do. Adrian's headed home. Quick. It still says talk to Alia. Okay. Is this home this way? Um. That's where Master Fu is. I remember seeing the Aggress household somewhere on here. Uh, okay, there we go. This way. We'll just follow the signs. Definitely not this way. Can she jump like Ladybug? <laughs> Everyone, let me through. Out of my way. Oh, follow the arrow. How about that, Drew? <laughs> go and wait did it just kick us out okay heading that way heading that way heading that way oh no it's taking me to all ya what is this thing doing okay we gotta find the aggress mansion College, what? Okay. Why it's stuck taking me to all ya? Okay, now it's having me go this way. And now it's having me go this way. I bet you it's still taking me to all ya. If it does, I'm going to be upset. Because that's exactly where it's taking me. <laughs> Oh, another imperfection of the game. Uh, we'll try talking to her one more time. Um, she's going to tell me to go to Adrian's. Yeah. So let's, let's go this way then. Um, what does it say? Liberty, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go this way again, the way we went, because it at least had a sign pointed to Adrian's house. Walking past here again. Hey, everybody. Just running in circles for no reason. Thank you. So it says it's this way. Oh, I should have. I haven't gotten hit by a car yet. <laughs> see, but the signs were. All right. Let me see if someone else can tell me what's going on. Support a ladybug. That was awesome. Okay. Keep going this way, maybe. Maybe I don't hit me. Screw it up. Oh, my lord! Oh, my lord! Let's look at this map and maybe it'll give us an idea of where to go. Okay, and we are, so it's the top left of the map. And now Marinette is stuck, no, she's not. We can't go this way, but it's at the top left of the map. So how else would I get there? Um. <laughs> this should be its own episode. Finding Adrian's house. And talking to this person, they don't even talk. But then Ladybug and Cat Noir arrived. What? Okay. So that's Master Fu's area. Oh. Does that... Oh, it... Speed takes me there. Oh, well, then let's do that. If clicking on it does that... Wait, now things have frozen up. <laughs> because an error occurred. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, 
unless it takes us right back into the thing i i don't even know <laughs> isn't that something oh boy well <laughs> we got to conclude the story, right? Is it even going to reload? This is... <laughs> hey, this is what you get here on Derailed. Things get derailed all the time. At least you guys get to see the title screen, which you guys didn't see, get to see in this whole walkthrough. But if you made it this far and you're still watching, you might as well stick around and see what happens. <laughs> I might even just premiere this for you guys. Because this is just hilarious. We're loading back up now. This is, uh, <laughs> you don't get to see this on other walkthroughs. And I'm recording this pretty late at night to wrap up this series. So I'm kind of getting to that point in my evening where everything's just kind of funny and starting to lose my train of thought a little bit, but I've already said everything I can about subscribing and liking and all that stuff. We talked about the game. I kind of did the whole review process there at the end. So talk to Alia. Okay. Oh, and we did all this. So, yeah, let's skip this. Now, map. And I can go to the aggressed mansion now by just skipping there. Right? How have I not been here before? Oh, there's Natalie. Yes, I know Ladybug Cat Noir saved the day again. I read the news. Thank you. You know what? To be fair, it probably didn't register that we have talked to all yet. So let's head back there. We'll actually talk to her. I didn't realize this whole time we could teleport. The things we learn, huh? We've had this conversation with her. So we'll just skip through all of it. Max being akumatized. Chorus girl, blah, blah, blah. Hope you get it. Well, words mean a lot. It's good knowing before my eyes get wet. Adrian's on his way home now alone. Okay, but what? Clue in, girl. You mean now? Okay, yep. So I guess we could have read through that since I did pick the other option. Friendship goes up. It still wants me to talk to Alia. Okay. We're going to Adrian's home, regardless of it telling me to talk to Alia. So let's go back over to the Aggress Mansion. And can I re-interact with you and get you to tell me to come in? Well. How did I even get here? Straight from there? Oh, I see how you get there now. And that's why we were never there before. I'm almost running faster than a car. So something's glitched out here is what it is. So yeah, I mean, unless something else changes here. You know, I'm just gonna say that the thing is glitched out. Hey dad, Marinette, is there anything I can do for you? Oh yeah, he's got the scrapbook, that's right. All right, take care. Well, then with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Obviously it's glitched out. Um, if I can find out how to get it to do it, I'll, I'll put it up on a separate video for you guys so you can see it. But um, it's obviously glitched out or something at this point. We even got kicked out of the game and put back in. 
So uh, thank you, everyone. I already told you about subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, all that fun stuff. Uh, if you guys stuck around this long, thanks again. Hope you guys enjoyed the series. Uh, leave your comments, of course, down below. And um, that said, we'll see you in the next series. we got Sonic from Frontiers coming out soon. I've also been asked by several people to do the upcoming Pokemon games. Myself, never playing Pokemon ever other than dabbling in Pokemon Go. I, I never watched the series or anything like that. I only know a few of the characters. So, um, And most of that is because of my daughter. So we'll see how that works out. Um, but other than that, thanks again, everybody. And I'm going to wrap it up here. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care and cheers.